It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. We are back with another beer from Bad Seed Brewing Company in fabulous Denmark. And this sounds great. You've got your kind of gecko sort of mosaic looking. <laughs> it's called Tile Cutter. Tile Cutter, American Pale Ale hopped exclusively with Mosaic T90 and Mosaic Cryo, 6.3% ABV, 440 milliliter or 44 centiliter can. There's a look at it. Looking forward to this one, 6.3% ABV. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. I do have a question. I have a question for the head brewer, who's a good friend of mine, Peter, the master of hoppets. Peter, it's 6.3% ABV and you've called it an American Pale Ale. Now, in our language, as we've been doing this so long, this would class as an IPA, being over 6% ABV. So what was the reason, if you're watching of course, you may not watch, you may just think, ah, the video's out, job done. <laughs> but if, 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 he, if he's watching, um, why didn't you call this a pale ale, uh, an IPA? Why did you decide to call it a pale ale? And that's for everybody else watching as well. Is it exclusive? Is it exclusive that you call a beer over 6% an IPA? Am I just kind of slightly old fashioned these days? Is it okay to call it a pale ale these days? The whole beer, well, I find it so confusing these days. We got a one to two finger white head. Uh, good levels of carbonation as the carbonation is making its way through the beer. Uh, it's a hazy, on its way to being a deep amber colour. Not not quite orange like the the American IPAs, of the West Coast style of IPAs of America. Not as orange as that, but more of a kind of in-between in between being pale looking and orange looking. But there's no sediment in the bottom of the glass as yet. We'll get the rest of the beer in in a moment, but let's get rid of some of it first. Let's get some downness, but I want to get the aroma. Yeah, that smells really good. Really, really good. Really, really hoppy and lovely and oh yeah. This is reminding me of like grapefruit and orange peel. Lovely. A kind of a citrusy bomb, this one. With a little bit of malt. It smells great. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh. Wow. Wow. Stone the Crows. That has got a great amount of hops in it. You can, you can feel the hop stickiness on the lips. You can feel it in the inside of the mouth. There's a lot of hops going on in there, in this beer. Wow. A real, oh, wow. Hop stickiness. I'm, I'm surprised nobody's called it a beer yet. Hop stickiness. If you've ever been to a brewery, one of the first things a brewer will do, if he's got some there, is hand you some whole cone hops. If you go on a brewery tour, 
brewers will show you the different malts and maybe they'll jazz and they'll show you some whole cone hops and if you grab one of the whole cones kind of the brewer might open the flower a little bit and you can see that kind of golden nectar that's all your all your lupulin that's all of your flavor from the hop but if you break that open and rub it in your hands like this and really kind of crush it down then what happens is you'll get this kind of sticky residue on the palm of your hands and that sticky residue of course is 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 the smell it smells great it it it, it, it kind of i like the stickiness of hops um it is the hop is the hop so you imagine you put enough you put enough hops in a beer then you're going to kind of replicate that kind of stickiness of the hop flower but on your lips inside of the mouth you can feel they've used so many hops in this beer that you can feel that kind of hop stickiness let's see if it's a can conditioned beer I'm going to say, I would call that kind of micro filtered. Some of the, some of it is kind of like some beers you get. Uh, I've got big lumps and chunks in the bottom. Um, it's that, that would be not filtered at all. Some beer, some beers are crystal clear. That means they've been super filtered. I would say this is kind of like they've left some of the sediment in this glass of beer. But not enough for lumps and chunks, shopping trolleys and tyres and that sort of thing. Um, there's no lumps and chunks in here, but it's definitely got a nice haze to it. But it looks great, doesn't it? Look at the beer as I roll it around in the glass. Looks absolutely fantastic. Carbonation chasing the head of the glass. Good, fantastic lacing. Great aroma. Great aroma. Now you're able to kind of wash that beer around in the glass. It's a fantastic aroma. I've not really I've kind of talked about the hops a lot, haven't I? I've not really talked about the flavours and the, the malts yet in the beer. It's nice. It's really nice. It's, it's almost like a tropical fruit marmalade. It's almost like you're getting the, like orange marmalade in there. Almost like a grapefruit marmalade, passion fruit marmalade. There's sweetness from the malt over here. The, the, the malt is like a wafer. A light wafer flavour coming through with the malt. And then there's bitterness to the beer as well. So you've got sweetness and bitterness. So the beer's nice and balanced. It's a really good beer. A really, really good beer. Um, I'm going to rate it. I'm going to rate it. I think this is one that, if you're a massive fan of the hop, if you're a massive fan of that kind of mosaic, Mosaic T90, Mosaic Cryo, so Mosaic Hops, if you're a massive fan of those, then then you will probably love this beer. Uh, my rating for this is, it looks good, it smells good, it tastes wonderful. I like it enough to give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.